you need this to get through your day, so don't judge. Is it me or are these things getting smaller? They are. They're getting much smaller. Word to the United States Postal Service, leave the boxes at the front door because it's raining outside and if they had leaked on my box, I would have been very upset. And the fact that they don't know what's in here really upsets me, but yeah, these are getting smaller. So, I don't know. This month is colossal. Does that look colossal to you? <laughs> No. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know. I'm I'm torn on whether or not I'm gonna keep the box, the super deep box. I don't know. I I don't know. I like them. I genuinely like the stuff that's in them, but I don't know. You know, loot crate always comes and it's like geek fuel. You know, that's, you can fit like three of these in last month's Geek Fuel box. <laughs> okay, so that's just kind of like, you know, I don't know. But my first box was pretty small from these guys, and it had some pretty epic stuff in it, so. I don't know. Big things come in little packages. That should be their plug, their motto, their, their thing, what do they call that, their... Yeah, their slogan, the thing is on top of it, because, man, I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet, and I'm trying to cut into this, and as you can see, I'm cutting toward me, so, if I accidentally perform an appendectomy on me again, pay no attention! Okay, so they actually taped it on all sides, because this month, for whatever reason, they decided they were going to stuff it to the brim, and it was, like, bulging. Okay, so, Super Geek Box, August 2016, colossal theme. We're going to try to open this thing without losing anything. And here's what we got. A box full of nothing. No, there's stuff in there. I can feel it. And I feel a lot of fluffy stuff. Did they put a puppy in here? I don't, it looks like a puppy, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so. Um, let me see this over here. Let's do this first. Let's do the... Oh, my God. Okay, so take back what I said about not wanting this box anymore because... Oh, my God. See what I mean? Like, they send you these itty-bitty little boxes and you keep thinking to yourself, God, am I even getting my money's worth? Like, I don't care if I get my money's worth because I like the boxes, but you kind of want to get at least $20 worth because that's what you're paying for it. And believe me, we got it. We got it in just this item alone. This is my new favorite thing. A Donkey Kong plushie. But tell me that is not the absolute most... Oh, look at his pecs. Oh my god, this Donkey Kong has some mad pecs going on. Look at that. <laughs> you should have sent a bra with him. He's got his little Donkey Kong tie going on there. Looking all ready to eat some bananas today. Should have got a little Diddy Dog. Diddy, Diddy Dog, yeah. Diddy Kong. He needs a barrel. So it is officially Nintendo licensed. So, I don't believe this is a Super Geek Box exclusive. It's a Super Mario, and it's licensed, and it's... Uh, I love this. I, I do. I love this. I love this little, little, little donkey cone. <laughs> this is good. This is, yep. Nice uh, fun spot for him. So, if you were going to send me any character from Mario... And or that whole universe, it would be Yoshi or Donkey Kong, because, or Diddy. This looks like a pair of socks. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. you know, while I'll probably never wear these, 
I will give them to my son. They are Titan Fits Gamma Rays. Right, Gamma Rage. I can read. They're Hulk socks. They're just Hulk on both sides. But what's weird about them is they're just like a straight sock. Like there's no um, indentations for your foot. So that kind of makes me feel weird. But it is a uh, Super Geek Box exclusive. So these were made just for less. So these will go in Brandon's box. I don't really wear that type of thing. Here is our t-shirt. We'll save that for last. Okay, what else do we got? Okay, so we got a Mega Morph Mighty Pin. And it's like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... It is a pin. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Maybe that big guy from Big Hero 6. And, oh, I was just saying I needed one of these. A sleep mask. So we can see if it actually eliminates daylight, because if it doesn't, well, then it's a wasted, wasted item. Mega Hero Sleep Mask, a Super Geek Box exclusive. So... Try this bad boy on, shall we? Um, <coughs> um, um, I don't know. I mean, it you, it forces you to close your eyes because it's like <laughs> right to your eyeballs, but um, uh, I don't know if this would be very comfortable to sleep in. You know, I don't know, maybe. If nothing else, you can put it on a big old stuffed animal, right? That would look pretty cool. Yeah, enough of that. Wow. And we got our pin. Which is a rather large pin. Colossal. I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. Wow, I'm like really dropping the ball on this geek stuff this month. Maybe it's because they're pulling out like all these obscure things. What is this? What? Oh, we got a poster. We got a poster. I like posters. I don't like it when they fold them, but I like posters. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's Mario, Godzilla, it's, it's a cute little mashup. Let's see if I can straighten that out a little bit. It's pretty cool. It's Geekbox, or Super Geekbox exclusive. <coughs> pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, alright. Um, and the t-shirt. I was looking forward to this. But you know what that looks like on the pin? It looks like Snorlax. Okay, are we ready? I like the color of this t-shirt. Say that. There it is. I remember I was saying I needed one of these. Just say no to ambition or just say no to doing things. Just do it later. I love this. I don't know who that little dude's supposed to be. He kind of looks like Snorlax, but I doubt that they would do that. And he doesn't really look like the same color, so. I don't know. But I do like that a lot. 
that should be my slogan. Why, why do today what I can put off and do tomorrow, man? Okay, so, we have our little card of info. What's this? I don't know. It says, um, uh, TMNS bundle. $14.95 or $14.99 plus free shipping. And one of four mystery keychains. It's supposed to be like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Squirtle things. I don't know if it's something separate. I, I'm assuming it's something separate they're doing. I don't know if it's, um, like another whole subscription thing, but, I don't know. So we got the Donkey Kong plush. Mega Hero Sleep Mask. The Hulk Socks. This is not, okay, so the pin. This thing that is rather difficult to make out. Um, it says, Megamorph Mighty Pin. This is not your ordinary extra life mushroom. This is the ultimate power morph mushroom that grants colossal strength. That does not look like a mushroom to me. Like. Alright, let's open it because it doesn't look like a mushroom to me. Oh, now it does. See? It's all in the presentation. Okay. It's not even going to remotely. Anyway. It is the mushroom, but he's got a big head. So it's like the Super Mario mushroom with a big head. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, yeah. <laughs> I should have just flipped it over, because, you know, I'm awake, and, you know, that's what happens. Okay. Put this back in the air. Um, we got the... Super Geek Box exclusive, just do it later t-shirt, which came in blue or heather blue. I think I got heather blue. Um, and then the Mushroom Kingdom poster looks like Godzilla picked the wrong castle to terrorize. As the Koopa King himself has something to say about it. <clears throat> so that was this month's Super Geek Box. And, you know, I guess, I, I don't know, I don't know, I like the Super Geek Box, I like their t-shirts, I like their, I like some of their stuff, you know, um, but, I don't know. I mean, would I have paid $20 for this thing if I'd gone out and got it? Probably not. And it actually looks like one of those little toys that you see at, like, Walmart that are sitting on the shelf. Like, they have all different kinds of, like, the Care Bears and SpongeBob and stuff. And they're, like, five bucks, you know, in, in these, like, boxes. Some of them are ten. I don't know. He might be ten. This is Nintendo. He's pretty rad. But, I, I don't know. I, I like the t-shirts from them. I do. But I don't know if getting the t-shirts alone is worth getting the box. That's kind of where my thing is. But, the minute I, I cancel my subscription, I'm going to watch an unboxing of the box that I should have gotten. And then I'm going to be like, why did I do that? 
because that's what usually happens. That's how these subscription boxes work. You start getting one and you like it and you want to keep it and then you want more and you just want to keep getting more. But you don't want to get rid of the ones that you have for fear that you're going to miss something epic if you do. And it, Yeah. If I was rich, I would have them all. They'd be like Pokemon. I'd catch them all. Get them all. But maybe we'll give them a, another couple of months to really woo me. Um, see where it goes. Um, I am looking into getting um, a four o'clock. I'm hoping to be able to get that going by the end of the month because there's a Ghostbusters item in that that I really want. So, I don't even know what the Ghostbusters item is, but I really want it. It could be like a pin and I would be like, yeah! So, uh, yeah. That's Super Geek Box. I don't know, if you if you want to try it out for yourself, there's things down here. Um, a lot of people don't like Super Geek Box. I kind of see why, but um, if you get one up box, or that I think these guys are like uh, spin offs of each other, so like the people that did them used to do the one up boxes, and then the guy that does Super Geek Box like went off and did his own thing or something. I don't know if they completely their own. Like I said, I've on, I haven't even had a cup of coffee this morning, but anyway, they are very similar in what, what they are, so um, you don't want to get those two together. It's too similar, but, yeah, it's alright. I'm going to probably rate this box two Pokeballs. Only because when I think of Colossal, I think of big, big, I don't think of like little itty bitty pins that are supposed to represent little mushrooms from Super Mario that are bigger, you know what I mean, like, and a poster, I mean, it, it could have been so much cooler, like, it could have been such a better poster, I mean, it's pretty cool, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's alright, it's not bad, but it's not... It could have been like Hulk tearing open something and like, you know, here's Hulky, but no. That would have been cool. Him busting through a door, which you like some shiny mesh up there. Get on that. That's gonna be a thing. But, I don't know. I, I could have been the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Could have put a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in there. Instead of the eye mask that they gave us, it could have been the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man face, you know? Something big, I think big, big, should have been much bigger. Um, but, it is what it is. So, let me know what you think. Check out all those wonderful links down there that it takes, you know, 20 minutes to put in because YouTube just really blows for that. And check out the website, and go get yourself your own geek boxes. I have a lot of links over there, and this has been fun. So come back again on Monday when I do Loot Crate. I believe Loot Crate's supposed to be here Monday. So look for that.